welcome to vlogmas day nine i can't believe it let me grab the advent calendar box Ooh, it's a big one and it's a heavy one i have to be very quick because i need to get going to the house i've got all the groceries um i still need to all i need to do is pack up the cold stuff everything else is packed up and ready to go my work bag is packed up, everything except for the camera. So yeah, I'm ready to leave. I wanted to leave by 11. It is 10.50, so we're gonna make this quick. <laughs> so let's just get right into it. Day nine, here we go. You can see it's like bulging, and I think this is gonna be a hair product. And yes, the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast, Instant Lasting Volume and Texture. It's a styling and finishing spray. That looks really good. It's a really good size bottle. So that's exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Today I've just got my hair whacked up in a ponytail with a little bit of curl still left in the ends. I slept a little bit better last night, so I feel a little bit better. I'm ready to go to the house and snuggle with the dogs. Still have work to do on my syllabi, but I did get all of the front matter of both versions of the syllabi that I have to do for, that are due on the fourth. The front matter for both is done, um, so it's just the schedule for both now, and that I don't think will take me more than a few hours today. So that's gonna be the first priority when I get to the house. Um, well, posting Insta posting to Instagram is probably going to be the first priority because I haven't done that in like four days. And this is my favorite time of year to be like taking pictures. Like, and I have pictures. That's the other thing. I've taken pictures. I've got stuff to post. I just haven't posted. I really need to get back maybe in January or just for the rest of December even on at least my personal account. I need to get back to like the instant of Instagram because I just feel like I overthink it a lot. Okay, I'm going to get a fresh water, put the camera away, pack up the cold food. It's probably gonna take two trips down to my car <laughs> to get everything, we'll see, and get on the road and let's go spend a cozy festive day because those are the kind of days that we're having this month. A cozy festive day over at the house with mom and dad and the doggies. <laughs> Today is just going by so fast. <laughs> it's already almost 3.30. I'm just sitting on the couch, out of focus. Come on, there we go. Sitting on the couch with this one and this one. <laughs> and I've just been doing my syllabi. I think I'm done, I think. I'll probably look at them tomorrow or Friday and just make sure there's nothing obvious that I can see. And then I probably will wait until later to submit them just in case there's any new policies or anything that gets sent out. Um, 
over winter break closer to when they're due because I don't want to post them now if I'm just going to have to add in a new line of policy and then re-upload them. But they are mostly done now. So I'm just going through my email, doing some other things, and just enjoying snuggling with these two puppers and watching Bravo reality TV and just generally trying to relax. There's not much else to update you guys on. We've had some Amazon deliveries and yeah, nothing for me. <laughs> so <laughs> nothing I can show you. I, there are some deliveries that I picked up, but I can't show you right now. I will have to show you towards the end of Vlogmas because um, they are Christmas gifts. So I will be doing a what I'm giving for Christmas video as well as a what I got for Christmas. Um, those will be two separate videos that will come probably that week between Christmas and New Year's. I need to get my planner out and see what else have I done today. I've Amazon now has a new Author Central, so I've activated that. I've posted on Instagram. But mostly I've just been working on my syllabus, so for my two classes. But I think I've got the schedule completely sorted out. Um, all the correct dates. I've shuffled things around for spring break for the class where I was using the schedule from the fall semester. So it didn't have spring break. Started working on a new PowerPoint for next semester. So just trying to get ahead a little bit. Yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna stop rambling. Get back to watching TV and snuggling with the dogs. Gus is so funny. He's got his little tongue sticking out. He, every time he sleeps, he sticks his tongue out. It's just the cutest and the funniest thing. Oh, that was a sigh. He's a sleepy little bear. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to snuggling with these guys um, and I will check in with you in a little while. So this is my family's nativity scene. Mom just let me put it out for the year. And I was just asking my parents about it because I was trying to figure out like exactly how old it is and where it came from. Because all, some of the pieces have OFC. I don't know if you'll be able to see that right there, OFC etched on the bottom but like there aren't any like major like retailer markings my dad says that he remembered it in the first time he remembers seeing it is in 1971 in their house in mineral point wisconsin and my mom thought she remembered hearing that it had been a gift from my great grandma to her daughter, my grandma Max, my great grandma Leela, and her daughter, my grandma Max. So it's been in the family for a long time. My grandpa kept it in his house and after my grandma Max passed away. And so I grew up with it at grandpa's house and seeing it every time we went to visit there. And as a little girl, I remember like, you know, always rearranging the little figures and stuff. And it was always put on the same table, which my dad said, is the same table that 
he remembers it being displayed on. So Grandpa Bob continued to display it on that table even after Grandma Max passed away. And so it's the nativity scene that I grew up with. And eventually we just were given the pieces. Um, I feel like we were given the the figures several years before we were given the manger. Eventually we were able to get the manger. I don't know if it had been given to someone else. I can't remember. And then they finally gave it to us. But um, we now have the complete set. And so we set it up back there. Um, it's a little piece of Grandma and... And it's a little piece of Grandma and Grandpa um, and our Christmases with them, which I don't really remember my Grandma Max very much because she passed away when I was mm, four, five, somewhere around there. I, either while I was four or not long after I turned five. Um, so, and we were living in Germany or in Michigan for a lot of that time. So I don't really remember her very much. And so it's things like the nativity scene that are just really nice because it feels like a part of her and a part of her history within the family that we have. Yeah, this is a little, little bit of a family history for you guys in this vlog connected to one of our little Christmas traditions. We have somewhere, I don't think my mom puts it out anymore, uh, we have another nativity scene. It doesn't have a manger. It's just the figures. And that's the one that my family put up in our house every year when I was little. So I don't think she's gotten rid of it because it would be nice for either my sister or I to have that one day. I don't really have anywhere to display it. Um, but one day it would be nice. So yeah. I'm going to get back to work. I've just been going through my email, my uh, writer website account email. And oh my gosh, it just, there's so many emails that I've been saving to read later and like to, to learn because it's almost all of the emails that come through that account are self-publishing advice, writing advice, business advice, and, you know, newsletters that I've signed up for to like learn more about all of the different aspects of these different things. So... Yeah, I'll read the subject line and be like, oh, that sounds good. I need to save that. And then I end up with hundreds of emails that I haven't read. <laughs> so I've just been going through and clearing out a lot of those. And then, yeah, clearing out a lot and starring things and like reading some, like going through and like, okay, is this something I can read really quickly and decide what to do with it? Um, or is this something that I need to save and read for later? So I've got it from, I think it was like 157 down to like 54. So I've cleared out over 100 emails, either putting them in their appropriate folder or just deleting them. So feeling pretty happy about that. So I'm going to go back over to the other couch and find something else to do. I should outline... I really should outline. It's 4.30. I think I'm going to get my notebook and start doing some brainstorming. Well, not start. I've been doing some brainstorming and developing for that novel, but I think I'm going to do a little bit more for like 30 minutes, set a timer, and just work on it. That sounds like a smart idea. <laughs>
I'm home. <laughs> we had a really nice dinner. We got Chipotle for delivery, so that was yummy. I haven't had Chipotle in at least a few months, so that was good. Got more snuggling with the puppies, inched a little bit closer to getting <laughs> an outline going. Uh, the problem is, is that it's going to be book one in a whole new series, and so I'm also kind of developing the series at the same time that I'm developing the first book. And so <laughs> it's just a lot. It's a lot that I have to think about because the characters that show up in book one will be the characters that continue to show up throughout the rest. Yeah, it's just taking me a little while because I'm <sighs> doing kind of two things at once in terms of developing the series and developing the book. But it's all good. I'm going to get try to get some more work done on it tomorrow because... I don't think I'm going to do any teaching work tomorrow. I think I'm going to give myself a day off from looking at the syllabus and then try to wrap that up and just feel like it's ready to be submitted, even though I won't submit it until closer to the deadline. I just want to know that, okay, I've done everything I need to do, so I'll do that on Friday. Um, so I think tomorrow I need to run an errand. I have my therapy session online. But then the rest of the day, I don't really have anything, so I think tomorrow can be a good day for book stuff. Now I'm home, obviously. <laughs> I've got The Bachelorette queued up on Hulu. This week's episode went live today, um, so I'm going to watch that. Probably watch some YouTube after that, and then go get in bed and read. I ended up not finishing Christmas in Three Quarter Time yesterday. Um, the book that I mentioned in yesterday's vlog. I ended up not finishing it because as I was finishing up watching stuff out here, a friend of mine called and I was like, are you busy? I'm like, no, I'm not. And we've been meaning to FaceTime for ages. So it's just like, you know what? If she's free, we should just talk for a bit and start catching up, which was really good. We ended up talking until just a little bit past 1130. So I was like, no, I just need to go to bed. If I start reading, I will be up past midnight. So yeah. So I'm going to try to finish that tonight so that I can start something else because I've got so many books queued up on my Kindle. So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to go watch some TV and some YouTube. And then I may or may not come back and talk to you guys again. I probably will. But just in case, just in case, let's do our Christmas question or let's do our question of the day. I guess related to the nativity scene that I showed you guys earlier, we've talked about baking traditions, but do you have any antiques or decorations or like pieces of Christmas like that nativity scene that have been handed down or is there like a tradition in terms of like how you decorate your home for whichever holiday you celebrate is there anything that's kind of been passed down so yeah are there any decorations or heirloom pieces or something that come out during the holidays that have that kind of family history connected to them I would love to know or have you purchased something recently that you intend to kind of have be that traditional piece that gets kind of put out every year that will become kind of a, a family heirloom. I'd love to know that. I'll try to pop back on one more time um, before I have to stop and finish the edit. So I feel like this vlog has been a little bit all over the place, but I feel like my day has been a little bit all over the place. So, you know, we're keeping it real. It's a, it's an accurate reflection of how this day has been. I just, my brain has been scattered in a million different directions between the syllabus and my email and other work, worky bits and just being home. And yeah, my brain has been split in a million different directions today, it feels like. So I feel like the vlog perhaps kind of reflects that. Okay, I'm going to watch The Bachelorette, and I will see you later, and if I don't see you later, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
I'm just popping on really quick to say goodbye. I'm not going to talk long. <laughs> just because it's getting late. I'm watching one more YouTube video. I've watched Shannon from Pages and Polish and Tamsin from Tamsin Lena. And now I'm watching Lydia Millen and her latest upload of Christmas with the MGs. So I'm going to watch that and then edit this vlog really quickly, or what's left of it. At least I've started editing it, so just edit the last couple talking clips and in-between stuff, and then go to sleep. I should have finished editing it like an hour ago and been uploading it while I'm watching these videos, but yeah, I, I wasn't smart. <laughs> I should have I should have edited it as soon as The Bachelorette was over and then been uploading it while watching YouTube, but yeah. So hopefully I can wake up in time to upload it in the morning because it takes a while to upload it. It takes, depending on how my internet at the moment is, anywhere from an hour to sometimes almost two hours to upload but then it can take an additional 30 minutes to an hour to process. So, yeah. So if it's late going up um, tomorrow on Thursday, um, if day nine just went up a little bit later than usual, that's why. Because <laughs> I didn't get it uploaded. I didn't get it edited and exported early enough to upload it before I went to sleep. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All that fun stuff. I will see you all tomorrow in the next Vlogmas. Bye!